What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have an exciting video. We're going to be taking a look at the first XLR microphone from Fine Fine that I've reviewed ever. Uh, this is the Fine Fine K688. It is the sick looking microphone. It costs 70 to $75, sometimes even $80 depending on the sale, but that's the price range. It is very similar to the Fine Fine K658, which I've reviewed a while ago. That one was a RGB USB microphone, but this one is a little bit different. It has much cleaner design in my opinion. It has a removable windscreen on top that is super, super nice. I really like the material. It's like fuzzy. What's really special about this microphone and it has the ability to connect via XLR which I'm pretty sure this is the first microphone that Fine Fine has made for content creators that has XLR but you can also use it via USB so it has XLR ability and USB ability to connect to your PC so if you have an audio system or a mixer or something you can connect via XLR but if you don't want to use any of that you can connect the normal USB but we're going to be testing the audio quality difference between XLR and USB and see if that makes any difference at all usually it should not but you never know on the bottom of the microphone you get two knobs one knob for controlling the gain on the microphone and one knob for the feedback for the headphones so you can use the microphone as an output obviously on the back of the microphone there's a tap to mute but keep in mind that tap to mute only works when you're using the microphone as a usb microphone in the box you only get the microphone on a usb cable nothing else you don't get a stand which is not really common usually fine fine does do that uh, they usually include a stand of some form i wonder if they're going to make this microphone with a bundle that comes with a boom arm for like hundred and some dollars, that would be really, really cool. When I saw the description about this microphone, they recommended when you're talking to this microphone to talk about two to six inches away at an angle, which would be like this. Enough of me talking about this microphone, let's plug it in and do some audio testing because that's why you're watching this video and nothing else. But if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos of me, hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate that. Without further ado, let's get to testing and reviewing what this microphone sounds like. Let's go to my setup. And there we go. We have the Fine Fine K688 right here and plugged in front of us via USB microphone. Uh, obviously, as you can see on the back, it lights up right here where the mute button. Let me rotate it a little bit for you. I do have to say that I really like this shock mount. It's very, very solid. The microphone is not moving any in it, which is really, really nice in my opinion. Uh, but uh, if I keep looking at the screen, it's because I see myself right there, so it's a little weird. I'm not used to recording on my computer like this. I usually record on my camera, but we're back to testing this microphone. All right, so first of all, doing an audio test on the microphone. This is the Fine Fine K688 via USB plugged in, and this is how it sounds. My name is Givim Chills. We are doing an audio test for this microphone, and let's mute. All right, so the mute button is pretty sensitive, so you want to be careful when you're holding the microphone not to mute yourself. Now let's plug it via the XLR and see if it sounds any different. And now we're using the XLR connection. As you can see, it's plugged via XLR instead of USB. Uh, and how does it sound? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it phenomenal? Is it not phenomenal? But yeah, this is the sound quality you're going to expect from this microphone. We're going to do a couple more tests, and then I'm going to review all these audio samples and give you my opinion. What do I think of this microphone? The second test that I really want to do, because this is a dynamic microphone, is a background noise test. I'm going to be quiet for about 10 seconds and see how much audio will pick up my pc right there i have hvac going so i have a few noise you know background noises but i want to see how much it will pick up i have very high expectation that this will not pick up any noise so let's be silent in three two one And just like I expected, I saw zero movement on the audio recording device, which means there was zero background noise picked up by this microphone. The last thing I'm going to do is a test for a, for a keyboard. I'm going to see what does it sound like if you're talking to this microphone and you're playing video games, how much audio will it pick up and if it will pick up any from the keyboard itself, because a lot of people get annoyed by that. Uh, just to give you guys an idea, if you're a streamer and you're interested in this microphone, what it will it sound like if you are actually gaming or typing or doing whatever while you're talking to this microphone? So let's do that. Keyboard test going in three, two, one. Yeah, bro. I'm right here. No, he's to the left. He's to the left. To the right. Are you subscribed yet? No. Why not? Oh, you left a like though? Nice, man. Thanks. All right, that is it. I'm going to actually listen to the audio that we just recorded or these videos that we just recorded. And I want to let you know what do I think of this microphone for $75 if you should buy it or not. Okay. So this microphone is really, really, really good. Like I couldn't believe how good it is for $75. And I've reviewed every single mic from Fine Fine. And without a doubt, functionality wise, audio wise, 
This might be the best one I've reviewed so far from them. Maybe I'm not remembering right, but I don't remember any of them being this clear. Now that that's out of the way, we talked about how much I like how it sounds. Let's talk about some things that we should mention on when they're talking about this microphone. First of all, using it via XLR, I think is a little bit cleaner and more crisp. That's my opinion. I reviewed both uh, samples and I think the XLR one is uh, better. That's just my opinion. Very noticeable, just a little bit better, a little bit. Keep that in mind. I did notice a little bit of background noise being picked up when I was using via USB, meaning the XLR was just super dead silent when you are not talking, which is perfect for the dynamic microphone. Background noise test though, uh, it barely picked up any of my keyboard as I was talking, which was very, very surprising. My keyboard is pretty loud. If you're a streamer or a content creator, this microphone is probably the best entry budget microphone you can buy uh, if you want like really good quality. But a few things that I recommend to you to do, buy a good XLR cable, buy a good boom arm for it. So you always want to have it a boom arm. You don't want it just setting, you want it like this close to your mouth. You don't want it setting on the desk. You want a boom arm with this microphone. I promise you, you can buy one for like 10 bucks from Amazon. And uh, I honestly have zero complaints so far about this microphone. I can't think of anything else that I disliked. I mean, there's nothing, like literally nothing wrong with this microphone, especially for $75. This microphone, in my opinion, competes with $200 USB microphones that I've tested before when it comes to audio quality. That was my opinion of the Fine Fine K688. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think I've missed anything about this microphone or you disagree with me, please put it down below in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion and just get a feel for what you guys think about these reviews. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.